Welcome to the Healthy Living Series. My name is Teresa Collado. I'm a longtime fitness instructor at the YMCA and also the executive director of the Virtue Center, an outpatient treatment center for substance abuse. And my topic today is meditation. This is a wonderful tool that can be used to increase your health, mind, body, and spirit. The Mayo Clinic calls it good medicine. So in conjunction with other medicine, traditional medicine, meditation can also be used to enhance your health. Some of the benefits of meditation are to increase your focus, to reduce your stress, to find answers to difficult problems that you are facing, to be in the present, to be creative, and just to feel relaxed and good and at peace. Meditation can also be used to manage symptoms of various diseases such as addiction, cancer, heart disease, any kind of illness that someone is struggling with, meditation can be used in conjunction with traditional medicine. For me, during the pandemic, meditation has been a way to deal with the stress that we have all been experiencing. And I've had an opportunity to enhance my practice. Meditation is the practice of relaxing the mind and the body and being in the moment and letting go of worry and fears so you can be at peace. All you need to do, med to do meditation is to have focused attention, so a moment in time where you are not multitasking. I know many of us multitask where you can breathe, practice relaxed breathing, find a quiet setting, and um, just to be able to focus and find a comfortable seat. So we are going to practice a meditation, and that's the first thing that we will do, is find your comfortable seat, whatever that is for you, you get to choose that position. If you're sitting in a chair, I invite you to push your bottom all the way against the back of the chair. Feet on the ground so that you can feel the earth support you. You can put your palms on your tops of your legs if you need to feel more grounded. Or if you would like, you can open up your palms to the sky to receive. It's entirely up to you. To begin with, we are going to take three deep cleansing breaths. So we'll inhale through the nose, hold at the top, and exhale through the mouth. Here we go. Deep breath in. Hold. Exhale. Two more times. Deep breath in. Exhale. One more time. Deep breath in. And blow it out. You may already start to be relaxing. And if this is the only meditation that you did for today, that is the start of your practice. It does not have to be complicated. So as you feel that relaxation, I want you to focus on your breath. Just breathe normally. Hear your breath as you breathe in. Hear it as you breathe out. Feel your belly expand as you breathe in and contract as you breathe out. Just be in the moment. Be aware of your body. Feel the cool air going in through your nose. And when you exhale, feel the warmth. If there still is any tension in your body, breathe in that direction. 
So if it's a tight shoulder, think about breathing into that tight shoulder. And you can move around a little bit, whatever feels good to you. If you are comfortable, you may want to close your eyes or soften your gaze, whatever it is needed so that you can feel as relaxed as possible. Continue to focus on your breathing. And if we stopped here, that would be meditation. So again, it doesn't take a lot of equipment or time. Just stopping for a moment, taking cleansing breaths, and focusing on breathing. And if you would like to continue, I'm going to take you through a guided meditation. Try to just listen to me and focus on your breathing. But if you have thoughts, no worry. There's no judgment of the thoughts. Just let them go. Think of them as clouds just floating by in the sky. So continue to breathe. Close your eyes if you would like. And I want you to imagine a light coming from above, streaming down over your head. It's a golden light. It's filled with warmth, peace, and healing. And you're going to visualize that light coming from above, going through the crown of your head. And just feel that light flowing into your head, feeling all the nooks and crannies of your brain. And you can feel the warmth, the beauty, the comfort of this beautiful light. And just let that light slowly slide down through your face, your neck, shoulders, almost like it's just melting through your body. Continue to breathe, focus on your breathing as you visualize this light. Let it melt through your chest, through your belly, through your pelvic region. Now down your arms, into your hands, and your fingers. And the light is even coming out through your fingers and into the room that you are in. This golden light travels down your legs, through your knees, your calf muscles, your feet until it's flowing into the ground as well. So you are connected from above and below. Totally supported, totally loved. Filled with peace and strength. And I want you to sit with that. Feel that light and breathe. We're going to take five breaths. Just go at your pace. I'll be quiet for just a moment. And I want you to really feel the relaxation, the comfort, and the healing. Five breaths now.
few more moments of enjoying this peace, knowing that you can have this peace any time, any place. When you're ready, you can start wiggling your fingers, wiggling your toes, maybe taking your head from side to side. And when you're ready, you may open your eyes and return to this room. And I hope that you're feeling more relaxed, centered, and ready for the rest of your day. And know that you can start over any time. You, you don't have to limit your meditation practice to one time a day. Any time you feel agitated, that's the time to pause and breathe. Meditation is something that you can do every day, any place. It is a practice, and you can start a little bit at a time. It can be a walk around the block. It can be a prayer. You can read and reflect. Grab a journal, write some thoughts down. Breathe, of course. Three cleansing breaths, that could be your meditation for the day. You can focus on your breathing. There are lots of apps available that can take you through guided meditations like we just did. And one of my favorite things to do is to have a mantra, a statement that is meaningful to you, that inspires you, that helps you to be positive. It can be, I am loved, I've got this, God's got this. Whatever mantra that has a meaning to you and you can change it. But you can repeat that over and over again as needed and that will help you to become centered. Thank you so much for joining the Healthy Living series. Let us know if there's anything we can do for you. The why and therapy in motion are here for you and we want you to be well. Thank you again for joining us.